Fundamentals of Mobile Platforms. This video provides a high-level introduction to the characteristics and operations of mobile platforms. As a mobile developer, most likely you're already aware of branding differences among mobile platforms. In this program, we focus on four, the iPhone, Android, Blackberry, and Windows Phone. And we also emphasize an emerging power in mobile applications, the mobile web. Each mobile brand runs its own software platform. As you get deeper into mobile platforms, you'll see more and more both similarities and differences between brands. Each has its own unique features, of course. However, some share characteristics that make it surprisingly easy to develop across platforms if that's something you wish to do. As we think in terms of platforms, we're mainly describing the infrastructure of the operating systems and coding structures that will actually run and host your apps. For each platform, we will need to understand how it operates at three levels. Every mobile platform is comprised of its operating system, its operating services, and its application layers. We use the term layers to describe the hierarchy of functions performed at each stage of information processing on the platform. So what happens at each layer? Well, at the operating system layer handles and organizes basic computing functions just like it does on your desktop computer. The services layer handles operations such as messaging, media, devices, and so forth. Each platform has its own number type and combination of services, so you'll want to be aware of your own platform's services layer. The application layer is a layer that actually executes your software applications. So, what does this mean to you? Well, as a developer, you will primarily interact with the platform at the application layer. Your apps will execute against the platform's application traits and capabilities. However, it's crucial for you to know how your app interacts with all of the underlying elements. That way you can design the most efficient and yet robust application. Let's discuss the platforms themselves in just a little bit of detail. First, Apple's iOS, which powers the iPhone and the iPad. At the operating system layer, its core OS is a variant of Apple's proprietary operating system, which is also used to power the Mac. At the services layer, iOS offers core services and media functions, which is where it does things like rendering images, producing audio, and, and other such things. At this layer, iOS is mainly written in Objective-C, a variant of the C programming language. At the application layer, iOS devices run on an Objective-C based platform known as Cocoa Touch. The software kit you'll use to code iOS is known as the Xcode IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. Note that Xcode and iOS developer tools only run stable on Mac OS platforms, which generally means you'll need a Mac system running an Intel processor and the latest version of Apple's operating system. The Android platform, also known as the Android Stack, is a collection of software services and libraries joined together to drive the system we know as Android. At the operating system layer, Android runs on a version of the Linux open source operating system. At the services layer, Android features a series of libraries written primarily in C++ which carry out various device and software functions. At the application layer, Android provides a library of reusable APIs, or application programming interfaces, which may be used or reused by your applications. Also at the application layer, Android provides a series of pre-installed applications such as browser, contacts, and that sort of thing. So for developer purposes, Android apps are written in Java or a Java derivative. The BlackBerry platform is an extension of the BlackBerry environment which has established a stronghold in the enterprise, that is, in larger organizations, specifically because its closed nature makes it easier to manage securely. It is proprietary and Java-based at the operating system, services, and application layers. BlackBerry has introduced Android functionality through a Java virtual machine and is making some headway integrating the mobile web into its environment. As a developer, BlackBerry is still worth watching. 
The Windows Phone 7 platform is a Microsoft product and uses software standards and functions common to other Microsoft offerings. At the operating system level, it runs a version of Microsoft's Windows 7. Integrating a Windows Phone common base library that provides base functionalities such as security, threading, and other deep OS functions. At the services layer, it uses Microsoft Silverlight and XNA frameworks to support both app and game development. And then at the application layer, it uses Silverlight and some Windows 7 native functions. Finally, the mobile web is slightly different, but very important to us. As with the stationary web, on the mobile web, the technology is the platform. That is to say, we're moving toward a cross-platform mobile web where multiple devices can connect to your mobile app seamlessly, at least in the ideal. It is still early, and the layers still apply. For example, many mobile web functions are still carried out as browser plugins due to network latencies, but things are moving forward fast. On the mobile web, we think in terms of the server layer, the network layer, and the browser, or the client layer. At the server layer, the mobile web provides server hardware and software, data storage, and distribution technology. At the network layer, the mobile web moves data over internet protocols via wireless connections. And at the browser layer, mobile web apps make use of browser functionality to either handle data directly, much like your computer browser does, but slower, or to provide functionality through browser plugins. This has been a brief introductory overview to the fundamentals of mobile platforms. We'll get into much more detail later in the program, but at this point it's important to have some sense of the scope of mobile platforms and the mobile web.